Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Before we start this video, I would like to thank you all so much for 7,000 followers on TikTok. I'm really grateful for all the love, support, and kind comments. This wouldn't be possible without you. I love you all very much. This will be one of the gifts for you guys, another tutorial on how to bundle. But the catch is that this includes models and animations. Let's get started. First, open your Unity. It should be the 2017 version. I'll send the link in the pinned comment. Then create a new project, name it whatever you like. Click on Create Project. Now that you've opened your project, go to the Window tab and click on Assets, then click on Import Package and Custom Package. Import the Bundle Unity Package so we can bundle an asset and choose a tune we like for the texture. I'll also send the package in the pinned comment as well. Once the package is in your project, click on Import and wait for all the essentials to be finished importing. Now imported, now go to your file explorer where your FBX and texture could be, select them and drag them to your Unity project. Drag your FBX here in the hierarchy. Right click and click on create, then click on material. If your FBX has more than one texture, you can create another material and more. Click on standard and go to tune. Here, you can select any shaders you want. For me, I will choose the lighted outline. I recommend to set the outline to 0.002. Drag the image of your texture here. Now drag the material to the FBX in the project. It depends on which part fits. I will create another material as the FBX has to textures. It will be the same procedure. We're almost done. Now follow this procedure carefully. Go to the Hierarchy tab and right click, then click on Create Empty. There will be a new object called Game Object. Make sure all the positions are in zero. Copy the name of your FBX and paste it in the game object to rename it. Now drag your FBX to the game object. We're all set. Now let's bundle it. Follow what I do. Drag your FBX to the project tab. The preview of the asset will appear and two tabs are provided. Name the first tab whatever you want as your file name and the second tab as Unity 3D. Go to the Window tab and click on Bundle and Build Asset Bundles. Just in case the file doesn't appear, bundle it again. Now there's the file. Drag it to Post Mod folder from Streaming Assets. Next, go to Cutscenes and create your text document. Click on your text document and paste these commands. Now, type in the file name of your Unity 3D file and your FBX name that was in the project and rename it whatever you like for the new asset. For the ref position, I'll show you how to place the model. Run Pose Mod, then click on X. Go to Stuff, then go to the second page and click on Show GUI. Now the GUI is shown. Let's go where we could place the model. Here is where I want to place the model. Take note of these coordinates. Now let's set the coordinates. It's up to you. Now 
Now save your text document. Let's test it out. Oh my gosh lol. Don't worry, if the model appeared to be bigger, I have a command for this. If the model appeared to be bigger, add this to your commands. You may also replace all the 0.1 with 100 if the model is smaller. Let's test it out again. It worked! However, you can pass through the model. If you don't want that to happen, don't worry, there's an easy fix to it. Go back to your Unity project and make sure you click on the mesh of the FBX. Click on Add Component. Then search for Mesh. Click on the one that says Mesh Collider. Tick on the Convex. We're all set. Delete your FBX that was bundled then repeat the same procedure on how you bundle it. Let's test it out again. Yay! We're not passing through the model, however, I'm not sure why you can't walk upstairs. Most likely because of the FBX, but I'll try to find a way to solve it. Let's move on to the next one. We're now going to bundle hair. Drag your FBX and your texture to your Unity project. Create a material as is. Drag your FBX to the scene, then drag your material to the FBX. Oh no lol. This is most likely an outline issue, especially if the tune is lighted outline. If it's like that, change the tune shader to basic or basic outline depending if you want outlines. There's a slight outline issue, but that's alright lol. Click on Hierarchy tab and click on Create Empty. Copy and paste your FBX name to the game object and make sure all the positions are zero. Drag your FBX to the game object. Now let's bundle. Now go to your text document and paste these commands. Now input the file name, FBX name, and the name. Put these coordinates. Let's test out the hair. It worked! Also, if you want the hair to have physics, I have a video that will be linked in the description. Let's now bundle a body. Drag your FBX and your texture to your Unity project. Drag the FBX to scene. For this one, you don't need a game object. Make sure it has an armature. If not, you can check my tutorial on how to rig models. By the way, I've seen a few people encountering this issue, where the model is glitched to the fountain like this. In case that happens, check all of the bones by clicking the arrows. Make sure all of the bones don't have this in their name so it won't glitch. Create the material for your texture as is. Let's bundle it. Go to your
your text document and paste these commands. Input the file name, FBX name, and new name. After that, I'll show you how to find the mesh name. Go to your Unity project and find a property that doesn't have an arrow, that's most likely the mesh. And if a box appears, that means it is the mesh. So copy the mesh name and paste it in the text document. Let's test out the uniform. Oh my goodness lol. Don't worry, there's an easy way to fix this. Just in case that happens, re-import your FBX to the scene. Go to Select, then turn off File Scale. Don't worry if it appeared to be bigger. Now drag the material to your FBX again, then rebundle. test it out again. It worked. However, there will be a huge asset that appears by the fountain, but there's an easy way to fix this. Just in case that happens, type this in your text document. Now let's go to bundling a custom weapon. Open your Blender or Unity, whichever you prefer. For me, I'll do Blender for this step. Select all the assets and delete them from Blender. Import your custom weapon FBX and the weapon you want your custom weapon to be. If you don't have all the weapon FBX, I'll send them in the pinned comment as a folder. Now align the custom weapon to the original weapon, you can do the same in Unity as well. Delete the original weapon. Now export it as FBX. Now open your Unity project and import your FBX along with the texture. Click on Hierarchy tab, then click on Create Empty. Set all the positions to zero. Copy the name of your FBX and paste it into Game Object. Drag your FBX to the Game Object. Now let's bundle it. Go back to your text document and paste these commands. This will be a long one, so follow carefully. For the ref weapon name, put in the name of the weapon you want your custom weapon to be. To figure out the ref name, do this command and drag your cursor to the weapon to find its ref name. For the weapon mesh, their names will be given in the weapon folder I will send in the pinned comment. All set, let's test it out. It worked!
Let's test it out on a student. The animation didn't freeze this time. Now let's go to the last part. When bundling animations, you don't need a texture for this one. Import your FBX or animation file. Click on your FBX and go to Animations tab. Here is where you will name your animation to whatever you like. Here is an example. Make sure you copy it. Click on the arrow on your FBX, go to the animation file, then click Ctrl plus D. Click on your animation file and click on these three lines. Here's an image of it as it wasn't showing in the video wall. Click on Debug. Go to Wrap Mode and set it to Loop. Then tick Legacy. Click on the three lines again and set it to normal. Right click on project, then click on create, and click on folder. Name it whatever you like. Drag your animation file in the folder. Click on the folder and bundle it. your text document and paste these commands. Input the animation name as what we copied earlier. Let's test out the animation. Yay it worked! This new bundling tutorial helped you out. If you encounter any issues, please double check if you're doing it correctly or send a message request to me in Discord for help. Thank you for watching my loves, have a good day or night.